Jackie Gleason was unique. I mean, uh, when he was standing on the stage in a run-through, uh, the director said over the talk back, he said, Jackie, listen, could you move a little bit? Uh, you know, you're, we're getting a little bit of shadow on there, and, and you know, you could help us. And Gleason's response was, the camera's got uh, wheels, doesn't it? Let it get over here. And, and so this is the way everything had to, to gravitated around Jackie. I mean, he was a show. He was a star, and everybody knew it. And there was no, I mean, Art Carney started out in radio and so forth, and, and he was a, a star in radio and so forth. And they all were, were extremely competent and everything, but everyone understood that it was Jackie Gleason. And so Jackie, he uh, had almost, a, I guess, a, a photographic memory in regards to scripts. He never spent too much time rehearsing or learning his lines. And he would, he came from a background of uh, vaudeville, burlesque, nightclubs, where you, uh, you were working in front of a live audience. And you had a, you got your, your, your feed from their responses. As a matter of fact, I wrote him a script one time and he, and he loved it. And, and, but at, at this time, tape had come out. So it involved a big costume change. And he, and he said, tape? You know, he said, no, no, no. He said, I don't go to tape. When I have them rolling, I don't want to stop and say I'm going to go to tape. But anyway, so I did the sound on this particular show, and all I had was a, uh, a phone ring. And uh, it was in the Honeymooners, and, uh, and Jackie was, they were going around. But all of a sudden, Jackie jumped. He jumped over the phone ring. Now, I, I was... I, was, I had a problem because did he uh, forget the line? Did he forget that part? Or didn't I get the cut? And if I, if I had, hadn't got the cut and I ring the phone, then it's going to be all hell to pay because, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Gleason and, and it's live. So um, I kept waiting and waiting, and he was going around and around and around. And finally, and I wasn't getting anything from the control room because they didn't want the responsibility of saying ring it or don't ring it or anything. So there we were. So finally, I, I thought that he was, and so I rang the phone and he said, uh, yeah, he said, I've been waiting for that phone call. I wonder where it was, you know, and then he went over and answered the phone. They were back online. But it was simple as that. Um, but you stuck your neck out. And, and that's why... There were certain sound effects people that could do these types of shows. You say, well, it's only a phone ring. But you're dealing with, with, with such high-powered talent as, as, as a Gleason or a Hope or something like that. You know, you had to be so careful. Or a Carson. And, um, you know, one mistake and you could be off the show. And two mistakes and you could be out, uh, out the door.